Every child of God needs to operate at the level of spiritual awareness. We can no longer afford to practice weak Christianity because if we do that, the devil would waste us. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me once again. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. I so much love how Abejoy, the movie by the Mount Zion Faith Ministries, engages with spiritual realities. You know, I so much love how that movie engages with spiritual warfare. It reminds me of movies like The Ultimate Power, where men and women of God demonstrated the power of God, you know, the raw power of God. I know that there might be someone out there saying, well, I don't need to bother about the forces of darkness because God has my back. You know, God is my father, nothing bad will happen to me. Yes. God has your back. God is your father. But then, remember, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19, it says, Behold, I give unto you power, right, to tread on serpent and scorpion, and over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. In other words, God has given you power to tread upon the forces of darkness, to make a waste of the path of darkness. So there's no need bothering God to fight a battle he has equipped you to win. There's only saying, God, come and fight my battle. When God himself has actually given you the power to defeat these forces of darkness. I believe that, you know, this movie actually highlights how God expects that we take dominion, we take authority over the powers of darkness. But the reason why a lot of us struggle with these things is because our ways are not right with God. You know, a lot of us are still struggling with things that we should actually have overcome. A lot of us are saying, well, God, I don't have time for you now. When I am ready to serve you, when I'm ready to commit myself to you, I'll come back to you. But then the devil is busy messing up a lot of people's lives because of this reason. So I want to encourage you. In case you are watching this and then you are not yet a friend of God, I plead with you. Please become a friend of God today. You know, give your life to Jesus. Let him be your father. Let him be your father and then you can be his child and he can actually fight for you. Now, um, I think one other scripture I, I would like to mention here is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, which says, The weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God, the pulling down of strong gold. In other words, God expects that we engage with spiritual warfare, with spiritual realities. I know we live in a physical world, but then there are so many things that go on behind the scene, beyond the ordinary. That as children of God, we need to be aware. We need to engage with these forces of darkness and claim victory. Because God has equipped us, he has given us the power to tread upon these forces of darkness. Now, later in this video, I'll be giving you my top seven spiritual warfare prayer points from this movie, Abedri. Right? My top seven spiritual warfare prayer points. But before I go into that, I would like to quickly reflect on my favorite scene from the episode one of season four. This scene actually is so wonderful because it highlights spiritual reality, spiritual warfare, and also with a little bit of um, comic relief in there. And I, I, no, I just love that scene. But let's quickly go into my top seven prayer points from this movie. My top seven prayer points from Abedjoy Season 4, Episode 1. Prayer point number one, and I encourage you to pray these prayers. Council of wicked elders gathered against my destiny, scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus, council of wicked elders gathered against my destiny. What are you waiting for? Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, scatter by fire. Because you are not of God, I decree today, you council of wicked elders gathered against my destiny. In the name of Jesus, scatter by fire. In Jesus' mighty name of prayed. Number two, say chants and incantations. Assigned against my life, backfire in the name of Jesus. Chants and incantations assigned against my life and my destiny, backfire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Say, wicked powers, monitoring my progress for evil, receive the judgment of the God of Elijah. In the name of Jesus, wicked powers monitoring my progress for evil. Hear the word of the living God. Receive the judgment of the God of Elijah. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the judgment of fire. Receive the judgment of fire. Receive the judgment of fire. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Number four, 
wicked association on assignment to hurt me, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Wicked association, every gang up of darkness, every evil assembly on assignment to hurt me. I decree in the name of Jesus, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in Jesus' mighty name of prayed. Number five, weapons of the wicked designed for me and my family. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus, weapons of the wicked designed for me and my family. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall not prosper. 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 In the name of Jesus, weapons of the wicked designed for me and my family. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall not prosper. In Jesus' mighty name of prayed. Amen. Say, O God, arise and let the wicked enter into the pit they have dug for me. In the name of Jesus, O God, arise and let the wicked enter into the pit they have dug for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, O God, arise, let the wicked enter into their own pit. In Jesus' mighty name of prayed. Amen. Number seven, say, I refuse to obey any evil command. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to obey any evil command. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to obey any evil command. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to obey any evil command. I will not obey the instruction of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil command issued against my destiny, I will not obey. I refuse to obey. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name of prayer, amen. Friends, at this time, I would like to encourage you. In case you are watching this right now, and then you would like to give your life to Jesus, congratulations. Can you please say this prayer with me? Say, Father, I accept you as my Lord and Savior today. Please forgive me of all my sins. Come into my life. Become my Father. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. I would like you to be my Father. I would like to be your child. Lord, please take me and accept me today. I give you my life. I give you all that belongs to me. I surrender my life to you today. Thank you for the salvation of my soul. For in Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. If you said that prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God, a friend of God. Please find a Bible-believing church to attend. And I pray that God will help you as you go on your Christian walk in Jesus' name. Once again, now the aim of this video actually was to highlight the importance of spiritual warfare and how every child of God needs to operate at a level of spiritual awareness. You know, every child of God needs to operate at the level of spiritual awareness. We can no longer practice Christianity, what some people call cold Christianity. We can no longer afford to practice weak Christianity because if we do that, the devil would waste us. And I pray that none of us shall be wasted in Jesus. And we will not be casualties of war. We will not be casualties of spiritual war in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that what you need for revival to take place in your spiritual life, God will give to you in Jesus' name. Once again, in case you've not watched the movie Abejoi, uh, please go and watch it. Go and watch it. And while you watch, try as much as possible to pray and ask God to use it, uh, this movie to speak to you, to revive your spiritual life, to challenge you, right? And I pray that as you do this, God will bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you mightily. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this video has been a blessing to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell so you get notified each time a new content is uploaded. You can share this video with your friends. You can share this video with your loved ones. And I will see you on the next one. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.